He under, he just sent a bouquet of beautifully wrapped barbed wire enemas, metaphorically speaking, to Australia's leading, misleading or deceptive car maker, Toy Motor. It seems these South Korean upstarts are suddenly awash with Staria load serial killer vans, whereas Toyota can only fantasise about slipping you into a high ace, so to speak. Oh, what a feeling on balance in the lead up to the end of the financial year. I'm Jim Logan from AutoExpert.com.au, Newcastle Cheap, but Australia only website card. That was peak website card then. Just saying. Dude, it's rain and starry loads. Sung the weather girls once in the 80s or something in a parallel universe where every new song sucked, perhaps. And I want to be real clear. The reason I'm reporting this is not in the vain hope of securing some endless supply of all-you-can-eat kimchi meal deals. Au contraire, dude. In that situation, I would always inquire as to what exactly is second prize. Although, to be fair, I did once have a very nice South Korean girl indeed. Hashtag bamboo fantasy. Opine to me that although there are over 1,000 different flavours of kimchi, my uncivilised Australian palate would never be able to appreciate all of that nuance. And you know what? She was dead right. It all just tastes like rancid cabbage stuffed with chilli to me, uncivilised old me. I'm certain this is because I grew up like you in a Western cultural abyss. So when she told me about this intrinsic limitation of mine, I did what any diplomatic, polite, some would say, gracious dude would do, stranger in a strange land and all of that. I simply said, whatever you say, baby, just grab some more whipped cream. Like, you know, chivalry might be sick, dude, but it's not dead. Come on. No, the reason I'm reporting this is if you order a high ace from the misleading deceivers today, you might not well get in it before June 30, owing to ongoing constipation. Fair up the big T's. Let's call it um, delivery pipeline. And that's going to make things such as claiming the depreciation and the GST in this financial year somewhat less inviting than dinner for two with Peter Dutton, if possible. And you know how much you want that. This will be the shortest baked-in ad ever. I guarantee it. Olight has a sale event on now, dude. Major discounts until Friday night, the 19th at midnight. Olight make the best torches ever. I use one every day. It's a Warrior Mini. Every time there's a freaking zombie infestation in our street or I have to fix something else at night or play doctor, whatever. So useful. Link's in the description and click the card that's kind of, you know, up there in the usual spot for more guidance on my favourite Olights because there is so much choice on the website. Now, you know you want an Olight, dude. You know it. Just cave in to your inner torch pervert or even better. Get three. Now, in the time-honoured tradition of fuck you, Toyota, Hyundai is offering a $49,490 drive-away deal on Staria Load. And they say this is a near 1,400 Schitzvillian micro peso saving in Vicwijistan and almost 1,300 buckaroonies off in New South Schitzville. Imagine that back to discounting. And they further allege there are 944 Staria loads in stock, ready to rip, gagging for you to insert yourself in one, plus 244 more Staria loads onshore in the wings, with another 689 paying homage to Archimedes as we speak on the water, presumably in a ship 
certainly hope so, and I hope in a ship bereft of those highly combustible Roman candle Porsche Taycan shit heaps. In lieu of a provocative calling card to match the enema bouquet and the spirit in which it was offered, let's not forget, senior cheeky Hyundai bastards have prepared a handy stereo load buyer's ready reckoner. You know, the kind of thing that drive.com.au would doubtless call a master spreadsheet. Its purpose is simple, to point out all the ways in which face of Robocop serial killer van beats misleading deceiver serial killer van, which is just a fantasy anyway, from an availability or dealer delivery perspective. So there's that. The communicational genius at play in this document is that they've managed to include a few areas where the high ace notionally beats Robocop face to maintain the semblance of balance. That would be the numbers in black betwixt those in green. In reality, though, the differences in black are really just generally a bee's endophallus. And while I'm obviously no apiarist, it's safe to say that that's generally pretty small. Green is where Robocop face says, fuck you, high ace, basically, and the horse upon which you rode in. Staria Load is quite the <sighs> visually polarising statement versus Toyota's nouveau shoebox design language. And this means that the dudes in their bizly duds and their composite-toed Mac whoop-ass boots and their Rangers and Hiluxes are going to have something to say about you arriving on site in a Staria Load, almost certainly. But, you know, compared back in objective territory with a high ace, the Staria Load's fuel economy does swing 12.5% Hyundai's way. And that's kind of a big deal, while the powertrain performance seems kind of, you know, too close to call. Reading in between the lines, I suppose, the Staria load probably has slightly broader mid-range power, like slightly. So that's going to make a difference to the bottom line, that fuel efficiency, if you deliver, I don't know, rubber dog shit all over town for a living every live long day, dude. In fact... If you're a 500k a day plastic doggy dude dude delivering dude, the Hyundai service interval means essentially a service once every six weeks versus once every four weeks in the Toyota serial killer special, if you can get one. Less downtime, of course, equals more time on the road, generally equals more cash flow if this is what you do for a crust. Keeping the economic engine of injection-moulded fake thermoplastic dog shit delivery just ticking on over, dude. Speaking of, what should we call them, um, aisle two issues, Staria Load takes rather the large, you know, steaming dump on the high ace when it comes to braked tow capacity. A staggering 1,000 kilos more there, which will be of dead set interest to you if you are a serial killer tradie. Best of both worlds there, I'd suggest. 2,500 kilos for the Staria, 1,500 for the fantasy high ace. And I never thought I would use those two words together in the same fucking sentence, dude. Fantasy high ace. Imagine that. Sacrilege. The Toyota is bigger outside, but the Hyundai manages a bit of an edge on length and height inside the cargo bay, which is all a bit Doctor Who's TARDIS, frankly, in terms of volumetric management. But the Toyota is wider down there, just like ex-wife number four in my case. She was awesome. In total, it's 173 litres more cargo volume for the Staria, at least according to Hyundai's official Fuck You High Ace fact sheet. But they're both about six cubic metres. Six cubic metres, that's a lot. It's like it's more than enough to get on the news if you're transporting highly enriched uranium or weapons-grade plutonium, isn't it? Somewhat smaller shipments are always advised there, obviously. And the packaging, dude, so important. 
Hyundai says there's also 10% off the genuine accessory packs for Staria Load right now. Imagine that. The plastic sheet dispenser for the floor and the walls, bins for the Tyvek overalls and the little booties from the CSI shop, the flex cuffs and the gaff tape, soundproofing materials, so important. The shovel and, of course, the saxophone holder. Deleting the inner cargo bay door handles, quite important. It's the details that count, dude. All the usual shit that people like you, the discerning serial killer van buyer, demand, basically. 10% off, so that's awesome. You've always admired Robocop, dude, you have. And if you need a plastic doggy doo-doo delivery van before June 30, this might be of real interest to you. For me, not so much. I actually had to sit here and have wife number six electroshock my nuts repeatedly during this report just to prevent rapid-onset narcolepsy. And that probably explains all the twitching. But then, I'm not a high-density polyethylene canine number two delivery logistics rock star like you, am I? And I'd be lying if I said this was an entirely unpleasant tweak to the video production process. I know wife number six enjoyed it a lot. And you know what they say about happy wife. <laughs>